a couple of reasons for coming to ETS to do a, a master's degree by research. The first is that I think it's true most men when they go into the ministry sometimes lose their focus of study, become consumed with sermon preparation, which of course is absolutely vital, but they don't do the other kind of studies that will really nourish them and nurture their ministry over a longer period of time. One of the best ways, I think, to do that is to focus on one particular topic, one particular theologian, and uh, become, at least in miniature, an expert in that doctrine or in that particular person. And in many ways, that leads you on to exploring the gospel, I think, much more fully and richly. And then the second reason, actually, which you know, may be an idiosyncratic personal reason, and that is sermon preparation tends to expand into time available. And one needs to discipline that um, and make sure that life is not simply a matter of preparing one sermon after another but that you're giving yourself to serious study outside of the immediate demands of sermon preparation. And I think, at least this has been my experience, that as one tries to do that, one grows in quite unexpected ways. I think it's given me a greater confidence in the Word. And because studying under professors here who love the Word, and who really want to see hearts, minds shaped by the word. And men who have had pastoral ministry experience, so who want to see what you study impact you and shape you. Um, and so one of the things I think, if anyone was ever thinking about an MTH, this would be the ideal place. Because you have, the, you have men who are um, equipped, ready, who've got a heart to teach and serve students, and who want to shape and mould them and guide them in, in the right direction. I also think that this ETS as a place, as a facility, the resources, is just a treasure house of books, of um, documents, manuscripts, um, journals that you couldn't get anywhere else. And then you've got access next door to New College um, and ETS's connection there. I think also the academic rigour um, combined with our reverence. So we do all things for God's glory and they, that's where they, they want to really shape you for your motivation. You're doing this for God. That's why you're doing it to the best of your ability. Hence the reason it's rigorous. It's tough. It's not easy. Um, and I think the rigor is great because it, it, it really does teach you so many. It sanctifies you and it, it makes you someone who wants to take seriously your calling to, to be devoted to things, to do them with all your might and strength, but with an eye to God that you're doing it for Him. Um, so that's why I'd encourage ministers to do particularly. Yeah.